So this is the room that I am <laughs> working with. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to take this computer chair and a computer desk and I'm gonna try to move this like out here and then like push that out and then I'm gonna move my computer kind of over and then the plan is once I have that looking nice and spiffy then I'm gonna take that bad boy down and I'm gonna put either my whiteboard there or a bulletin board I don't know yet. We'll see. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm in the car now and I'm on my way to Staples to set up my virtual online physical classroom in my house. Let's go. little teacher outing without some Starbucks. Okay, now I have to pay. But like real talk, like I'm really excited to set up my classroom, my virtual physical online classroom. Um, so I got some bulletin boards and a dry erase board from Staples. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang those up and then I'm gonna put like border around the bulletin board for sure. I don't know about the dry erase board yet, but um, definitely gonna be putting some border around the bulletin board. I don't know if I'm gonna put paper behind it or not. I might just leave it brown. But um, I got some push pins from Staples too for the bulletin board. And I got some command hooks, so I'm hoping that the command hooks will hold the dry erase board and the bulletin board up on my wall. If not, then I don't know. Okay, so when you walk in, um, I have my computer desk and my computer right here. And then instead of getting like a ring light, I just put this like really bright lamp in front of like my monitor area. So that way I am actually like more presentable and it actually looks good and everything's clear and you can see me. Um, so you come in and here is my desk and it looks really messy like from the front um, because of like the wires, but from like the other side, it actually looks really clean. So I'm gonna show you that here in a second. So over here um, on this table, I just have some just like basic essentials. So I have some dry erase markers and then I have my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, little slips, and then I have my essential question sign, and then my today I will, so I can, that kind of thing, and then I have some figurative language, like posters-ish, simile, hyperbole, metaphor, and then I have some decorations. These decorations, I actually made myself and they're in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. So if you wanted these, um, I think I have them listed up for like $1.99 or something like that. And what I did was I went onto the Walgreens app and I like printed these out as photos. And then when I got home, I just laminated them and I used these as like decorations. So this one says, you are strong. This one says, you are loved. And this one says, mistakes are the path to perfection. And then I have another one that says, make your presence known. And then I have another one that says, you are beautiful. Um, everything that's in the pack, like there's way more than this. I just only printed out the ones that like I wanted to print and hang up 
but there are way more inside my shop if you're interested these are like i call these the rain boho <laughs> um the rain boho theme so these are really really neat and cool and i love these so much bulletin board um as you guys know uh the bulletin board and the dry erase board i got from staples and i didn't get to record myself putting it up because to me putting things up is like really frustrating because i feel like i have to have it perfect so it literally took me like a enormously long amount of time to figure out where i wanted it at how it was gonna look from my camera and making sure that i wasn't blocking the view i mean it was like a lot of planning that went into that so i just made sure that my camera was gonna catch my whiteboard and then most of my bulletin board while also catching me in my chair so it was a lot of <laughs> forethought and then I had to measure and level everything out so these are hanging up with command strips they're like clear tiny command strips and they hold up to two pounds for each clip and they seem to be holding up the whiteboard and the bulletin board just fine so I got both of these from Staples I think the bulletin board was around like 20 some dollars maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less and i think the whiteboard was around 40 i think around 40 give or take they didn't have a price tag on it and i was like look i really do need this for virtual teaching and i really i just really need it so whatever the price is i'm just gonna have to pay it so i went ahead and bought that and then I have this cute little pom-pom thing that I got from the dollar store. And it comes like in like, like a folded up fan and then you just like open it up and it looks all frilly. And then I have it being held by a tack back here. And I have like little tacks on my border because I forgot to pack my stapler from work. So this is holding my border together until I can order a stapler from Amazon. And then this, we have like our classes at my school are called cores. So basically I just have like core one, core two, core three, core four. And when I'm gonna be virtually teaching, like whatever class it is, I'm just gonna change it to that. So that way visually, like they recognize what class it is. Oops. And then this little guy, this pencil poster thing, I got this from Walmart literally like five years ago. Um, I think it was like less than five dollars and it's like a whiteboard kind of so you can actually write on it and you can like move these like little like arrow clips up and i usually like to use this pencil for like goals so if we're doing like articles or you know the number amount of times uh homework has been turned in i like to just like write our goals on the colors and then like for these like little clips, I'll write down like core one or core two or core three or core four. And then I'll move it up and down depending on like where we're at. So yeah, and then here is my computer area. So as you guys, like if you follow me and you like know a little bit about me, um, I love to play video games. So my setup is kind of like a gaming setup. So I have this gaming chair I got from Staples. It was around, I think like 200 and some dollars. I think it's really comfy. It's not like name brand or anything, but it's like really, it's worth the money and I got a warranty on it. So it's really good. Then I have my two um, Acer low refresh rate monitors with my Razer Kyo camera that has a ring light on it. I don't really use the ring light, but it, I don't know, like it's okay, but it doesn't do as much as you think it does. So I really just don't use it to be honest with you. Like I'll use the webcam, but not the ring light. And then I have my Razer Huntsman Chroma mechanical keyboard. And then my Razer 
um, light up mouse pad, I think this is. And then I have my razor, uh, mouse, death adder. So everything's like gaming situated. And then this is my PC. Um, it has a GTX 1080 tie in it with um, 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a cooling system. And when you turn it on, it actually lights up red and the graphics card lights up green so that's really cool so i i mainly use this pc for gaming and then when i need to teach online i'll use it to stream video and then here i have my razor this is not sponsored by razor by the way <laughs> um i have my razor headset um i'll have it linked down below and then my amazon alexa if i say the word she will activate and do all kinds of crazy things and i'm not into that right now so there's that <laughs> and then i have my cord for my vr headset and then my lights and yeah so this is like this is the setup this is what we're looking at here so i have enough room to be able to get up out of my chair and just teach and then i have a monitor two monitors one for monitoring like the kids in the virtual room and then another for displaying my content and i have my little babysitting station area and my light and then i also use this light here and i also use natural light as well so if you guys have any questions, just drop like a comment down below and just let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, I honestly like, this is like what I've come up with and I'm gonna be adding some more things as I go. My dog. Oh yeah, this is what I have to deal with. Yeah, I got right baby girl. Yeah. If you found that this video was really helpful, drop a like. If you're a teacher looking to figure out how to integrate tech into your classroom, uh, whether that be like your actual classroom or just like something virtually that I have set up here, um, definitely let me know um, and subscribe to the channel so that way you get content like this on a like a weekly, bi-weekly basis. Um, so that way you can be more proficient and integrate skills and awesome things into your teaching life. All right, guys, that's it for today. Bye.